Hi there. Happy Halloween 2020 and welcome to Purgatory. Purgatory chasm that is. And uh, this is a beautiful scenic spot to uh, come out here and do, and do some uh, cooking, especially for Halloween. Halloween of 2020 is one of those rare conjunctions when you know you just have to do something special because this year, Halloween happens to fall on a Saturday with a full moon. You don't see that very often. And so what better time is there than to take out a 200-year-old 15-gallon cast iron cauldron and conjure up a huge batch of jambalaya. Now there is a witch's potion that anyone would be proud of. The propane burner is from Bayou Classic and I had to find one big enough to heat up a pot of this size. While this is heating up, let me introduce you to a 200 year old 15 gallon cast iron cauldron made by the Savory Company of Philadelphia in likely the uh, early to mid 1800s. This beast weighs 75 pounds by itself and it sure was fun lugging it out here to do this. <laughs> That's alright, I think this is all going to be worth it. This thing is probably about uh, 20 to 22 inches across and I was lucky enough to find a lid from either Bayou Classic or Cajun Cookers, I forget which. Um, it is mounted on a tripod with a chain for safety reasons, you know, just in the rare chance that something could uh, knock against the cauldron. I obviously don't want this thing tipping over. And we start out by melting about a cup of lard. That way we'll have plenty of cooking grease for the first ingredient. Two pounds of pork belly. This should render enough pork fat for us to cook the rest of the ingredients. This was actually about a six hour project from start to finish and the cooking time was almost four hours. So what we really need more than anything else is patience. And after about 15 minutes we have some well cooked pork belly. We reserve the pork belly to put back into the dish later. And now we're ready for the biggest and toughest ingredient. 25 pounds of chicken. These were almost 30 pounds of leg quarters cut up into drumsticks and thighs. And to this I added a few pounds of chicken breasts as well. Since all that cold chicken has obviously decreased the temperature, it's time to cover the pot and bring the temperature back up. And a few minutes later, it's time to start stirring the chicken to make sure it is evenly cooked. Adding all that chicken to the pot tends to release a lot of liquid and we do have to get rid of the extra liquid so that the chicken will cook thoroughly. Here's where the patience part comes in because it's going to take at least half an hour and probably more before all this chicken is ready. Well, we're making progress at least. When the chicken is no longer rubbery and it's shrunk a bit and you can cut a piece with a spatula and it's cooked all the way through, then we know that we're ready for the next step. So right now we can just keep an eye on the chicken, relax and enjoy ourselves. The chicken is finally cooked through and the hard part is over. Now it's time to add the centerpiece to our dish. Seven pounds of andouille sausage. This was actually homemade sausage that I'd made a couple of days earlier. We also add back in the cooked pork. Now it's starting to look colorful.
It's time now to start adding the rest of our ingredients, and that means the Cajun Holy Trinity. Green peppers, celery, and onions. And once again, we cover it for a few minutes to help cook the vegetables until they're soft. And now, it's time to add in our spices, and lots of them. Some salt. Some pepper. I know a lot of people use browning sauce. I just prefer good old paprika and chili, or maybe cumin. Of course, got to have some heat. Not to mention the most important spices. And of course, lots of parsley. Because you can't have a Cajun dish without parsley. We'll also throw in some Worcestershire sauce. At this point, people were saying they could smell it all the way across the main road. And now things really get intense because now we add three gallons of water. We've got chicken, so we got like about 25 pounds of chicken, seven pounds of sausage, um, the holy Cajun trinity, which of course <laughs> is your peppers, your uh, celery and onions. Yeah. Just added three gallons of water. Now we bring it to a, cover it, bring it to a boil. What's the plan for it? Uh, really to uh, take it home and uh, share it with friends and family and just as important, do a YouTube video. That's awesome. So, yeah. There we go. <laughs> and that can mean only one thing. Time for the rice. And once the rice is all stirred in, all we need to do now is cover the pot and wait. Now we lower the heat and stir it in 15 minutes. Here we go. I want you to get hurt. What's he making, huh? Looking great already. Hey, definitely. Oh, only about another 15 minutes and we will be done. <laughs> And nearly four hours after we started cooking, our cast iron cauldron jambalaya is ready. Don't look now, but we have jambalaya. And do we ever. This was a great time to take out a witch's cauldron and conjure up a huge pot of jambalaya because the result is a lot of full stomachs and smiling faces. And that's the best kind of spell to cast for Halloween or any other time of year.